Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Elise. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are all well and blessed. I'm back with a new video. So I have a new wig from Julia Hair. And if you guys are interested, of course, all the details, links, and information will be listed in the info section below. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. So you guys just saw everything that I received with my wig. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So the wig that I picked up is this gorgeous 20 inch kinky curly 7 by 5 inch kinky edge bye bye knots lace wig and once again this wig does have those kinky edges making the wig look very natural and it's supposed to mimic kinky textured hair so i decided to give this one a try now the lace on this wig is pre-cut it does have the pre-plucked hairline the bleached knots and once again the lace is seven by five inches this is their new upgraded cap you guys do see as you have tons and tons of parting space you do have the ear shaped curvature making it super comfortable to fit and if you wear glasses this is a game changer because it makes it so much easier to put them on take them off this wig also has the new stretchable elastic band as well as the silicone backing so therefore the wig won't slip off so usually i like to just throw my wigs in the sink and shampoo them prior to wearing them but i just decided to kind of go in and redefine the curls just by using a little bit of water and gel i am right now using just a little bit of my gel and i'm just slicking back the kinky edges just because i want them to look really natural and you guys are going to see how that looks later on once the wig dries so now i'm taking sections of the hair applying a little bit of water a little bit of my camille rose curl maker if you guys are interested in anything that i'm using throughout this video i'll be sure to link it down below so be sure to check there so i'm applying it all over the hair and then I'm using my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush to clump those curls together and you guys notice how natural these curls look it looks like 3a 3b kinky hair <music> So I allowed the wig to sit and air dry overnight and it is completely dry now. You guys can see how the curls look. Now the Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel did kind of create a cast so you can go ahead and break that off just by scrunching the hair in your hands now i just went and took my edge brush and brushed out the kinky edges to make them look nice and fluffy you guys do notice that the lace is a little tiny bit too light for my skin tone so i'm just going in using my even lace tint and i'm spraying it all over my lace i'm using a makeup brush to just kind of smooth that all out to kind of help it dry a bit and now it is the perfect match for me so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the elastic band so therefore i get a nice custom fit and yeah let's go ahead and get this wig on and see what we're working with <music> Do you guys notice how this lace literally just melted in with my skin? I didn't have to use any glues, any tapes, any adhesives, anything, and y'all, it literally just melted right into my skin. You guys, this is definitely a game changer and I'm so here for it. Now I'm just taking the opposite end of my edge brush and I'm just combing out my little kinky edges. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of my wrap mousse to kind of help encourage the kinky edges to kind of move around and reposition themselves. So therefore it doesn't have like that demarcation line that separates the edges from the rest of the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play around the edges and see what I come up with. Y'all, excuse me 
excuse my appearance i am sweating because our ac went out <laughs> and like literally my face was so shiny um but now i'm applying a little bit of my powder to my face and into my parting space um, just to make that middle part pop and I did notice that there was a few curls that were hanging a little lower than I like so I went ahead and I just cut those right off and you guys this is what this hair is looking like and if you guys notice the kinky edges they look way more natural with this curl pattern and you guys do notice that I didn't have to use any adhesives any tapes any glues 100% glueless you guys see how natural this looks now once again this wig is 20 inches long but once you really go in and define those curls it just springs right back up these curls are unlike anything I ever had like these curls literally sprung up just like my natural hair it definitely has some shrinkage but if you guys want to elongate those curls when you do spritz the hair down using some water definitely use a concentrator nozzle on your blow dryer and stretch out the hair while you're drying it so therefore you get the maximum elongated length in these hot summer months and so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give you guys a few really simple styling options I'm not going to use any styling tools or accessories I'm just going to use the hair how it comes you can definitely put this wig in a side part or a curved side part I chose not to because I didn't want to disturb my curls and create any frizz um, but if you do want to switch the position of the part definitely do it while the hair is wet and you guys will thank me later so once again you guys do check out Julia hair I will have all the details and information located in the info section below but once again you guys do let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys on the next video bye guys